Hey Heritage, Scott here. Hope you're having a great Monday. Um, yesterday in our services at Heritage, we started a new sermon series on our core values at um, Heritage. It's our biblical core values. Our biblical core values really shape who we are and give us direction as people and as a congregation. Um, today, uh, I'm just going to review what we talked about yesterday. We talked about hospitality and evangelical beliefs yesterday. One of our core passages yesterday that goes with hospitality is Romans 12, uh, verse 13. It says, always be eager to practice hospitality. I think we do a good job at this at Heritage, um, but there's, there are areas in the life of our church and probably us individually where we could do even better. Um, so yesterday I encouraged people, I just want to encourage you again today, if, if you missed the sermon, I want us to, to, to strive to be intentional uh, with our hospitality. Um, invite people into your homes. Walk across the room. Be friendly. Um, take people a meal. We're doing this, but, but I don't say that to pat ourselves on the back because there's always room um, for improvement. Another way that we can show hospitality is to um, be kind to those that are having difficulty, those that are going through a tough time. Um, Christianity in the Bible is filled with people that showed hospitality to people that were going to, through a tough time. And, and the question that I asked y'all yesterday and I'll ask you today is, do you show hospitality to those in difficulty? Um, I've seen great examples. We talked about a few yesterday in our services where uh, people have lost loved ones and we have stepped up to show hospitality to those people um, during sickness, during illness, during times of loss of job, during births. Um, you know, the writer Hebrews, when we show hospitality, we, we, we could be entertaining angels unaware. And, and I want to encourage you uh, to continue to show hospitality. The next thing, um, our, our second core value we talked about yesterday was evangelical beliefs. Jude 1.3 says this, defend the faith that God has entrusted once and for all time to his holy people. Christianity faces many challenges today. Uh, not the least of which is multiple false teachings that are going around. Culture today is often swayed by opinion, the loudest voice, and personal desire. Uh, so, much so, so much so that I think a lot of times our children get so confused, and, and some adults get so confused just on basic doctrine and, and, and basic things of Scripture. Um, we hold here at Heritage the Bible as our authority for faith and practice, and we believe the doctrines of the Apostles' Creed. I want to read a passage to you. It comes from 2 Timothy um, chapter 3, verse 16. It says, All Scripture is inspired by God and useful to teach us for what is true and to make us realize what's wrong in our lives and to correct us when we are wrong and to teach us to do what is right. Basically, what this means is that the Bible is our source for truth and instruction in how we live our lives, how we teach, how we experience, uh, how we reason, uh, all helps us to interpret Scripture. But the Bible is our touchstone. The Bible is our primary. The Bible is our only source. So we've been entrusted to defend the faith, to be responsible to interpret the Bible correctly. Many people are led astray by well-intentioned people who misinterpret the Bible. As I said yesterday, it matters that we believe that Jesus is God, that he rose from the dead, that he was born of, the virgin, of a virgin, that he's coming again, that he uh, established the church. All that affects our morality, our family, our work ethic, our compassion for others, and impacts uh, our belief um, to be able to recognize false teaching. So those are our first two core values, hospitality and evangelical beliefs. What I want you to do this week is uh, go be hospitable to someone in your neighborhood, in your church, at, at your office, at your school, and um, dig in the scripture. Uh, know what you know um, by, by, by reading scripture. Don't be swayed by the loudest voice our personal opinions. Um, see what God says about it. And we can help you with that at Heritage. And you can look at our app and uh, look at the Bible app and, and, and um, get, 
get all kinds of examples and resources on how to grow your knowledge and, and your beliefs. Um, so thank you for, for watching today. Let me pray for us. Father God, I thank you for this day. Um, I thank you um, that you're a God who wants us to be hospitable to, to those that we come in contact with. Help us to be uh, men and women and boys and girls that show hospitality to others, Father. And God, as far as defending the faith and evangelical beliefs, we, we, we thank you that, that your word is our authority um, for, our, for our life and our faith and our practice, Father. Help us to lean on Scripture uh, when we find things difficult um, in our lives. We thank you for Jesus. It's in your name we pray. Amen.